Well, the Denver area was right in the bullseye as a winter storm delivered a big blast of snow. A lot of us woke up and went right for the shovel. And the storm created a mess during the morning commute. Copter 4 spotted spinouts all over the interstate. Thanks for being with us tonight on CBS 4 News at 6. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benneman. We're also streaming on CBS and Denver. Want to take a look at just how much snow piled up? Check out Englewood takes the crown with more than 16 inches. Cherry Hills Village, Littleton, Highlands Ranch, Thornton and Denver all getting numbers above a foot as well. Well, for once, the storm slammed the metro area but missed the mountains. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera is in the Mobile Weather Lab tonight. And Dave, this storm certainly changed a bit as it started get, getting going. Certainly did, and there are huge piles of snow as a result all over the Inglewood area where we are here. Part of the reason we got so much snow is, believe it or not, the mountains. The mountains can do all kinds of different things with our wind flow around here. And sometimes, if the conditions are just right, the mountains can create what we call the Denver Convergence Zone. We had upslope coming in from the east, southeast, which all of the computer models picked up relatively well. But what they did not pick up, and as forecasters didn't see this coming, was a downslope off of the mountains. Let's take uh, the uh, weather computer full, and you can see the motion on the winds. Easterly upslope coming in along with downslope, the two kind of just butt heads right over the Platte River Valley, right over the Denver metro area. What that does is lift the air up into the atmosphere. It creates uplift, it creates more snow, and it kind of locks that snow right over the Denver metro area. And that's what we saw last night. So we picked up the upslope. We just didn't see that westerly wind coming through to uh, beef up our snow amounts around here. This can happen in the winter, but it also can happen in the summertime. Sometimes when we see this convergent zone form up over the Denver metro, Metro area that can create big time severe thunderstorms right over the city or over parts to the east or southeast of the Denver metro area. Either way, it's an interesting phenomenon, phenomenon that happens in the Denver metro area. Very hard to predict, though, exactly when that does occur. But when it does, man, you can really get a wallop, and we did last night. Reporting from Inglewood in the snow, I'm meteorologist Dave Aguilera, covering Colorado first. All right, Dave, thank you. Well